In this video, I'll show you how to position or change the position of subtitles in Premiere Pro. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So I'm inside Premiere Pro and this is Premiere Pro 2022. Uh, so if you have it, you can follow along. The reason why you may need to change the position of a subtitle, that's a caption block or even all the subtitles is potentially when you have graphics in the section where the subtitles are. For example, uh, right here, we have a graphic, some lower third text that might interfere or conflict or have a conflict with the subtitles. So I'll show you how you can do it. Uh, and basically, we're going to do an approach where I'll import an SRT subtitle file that I've prepared and it's already in the projects folder. And once we do that, then I'll show you how you can position your subtitles and all that. So uh, let's just go back to the beginning here. And here's our subtitle file and I'll just drag and drop it here. You, you can also create a new caption track from scratch. You can transcribe the sequence uh, via Adobe Sensei and all that. You can also import from file. But since I already have it in my project section, then I'll just drag and drop it here. And once I do that, the, uh, you'll just follow the routine. The format is a subtitle, but the other formats here, uh, that is if you're doing things to do with closed captions, but we're doing uh, uh, what is called a subtitle that you can burn into the video and all that. Uh, we don't have a style for this one, but if you already created styles, and I do have a tutorial on how to create styles, you can check that out. And the start point is the source time code because the subtitle is already timed. Uh, and uh, basically that's what we need to follow. The playhead position depends on that. If, if that is the section where you wanted to do that or the timeline start. And in case you choose the uh, playhead position or the timeline start and uh, your subtitles uh, end up uh, being out of sync, kindly check out a tutorial on how to sync subtitles when some of these scenarios occur. I have a video on that. So let's use the size source time code. Click OK. And once we do that, we have our subtitles. Now, before we begin anything, if I uh, click on these subtitles here, and I'll just bring this down a little bit so that we can try and see everything. If I just click somewhere here, you'll notice that the subtitles are extremely tiny somewhere here. And I can just do this. Uh, here they are. I just pressed on the tilde key and the subtitles are extremely tiny. So the first thing you need to always do when you work with subtitles in Premiere Pro, hopefully they'll try to uh, make the subtitles adapt to the video dimension that one is working with or the video resolution. Hopefully they can do that. But what the first thing you need to do is just click on one subtitle line here and you'll see the essential graphics where you'll see the edit options. Now the font size is 16. So for us to change the font size for all the subtitles, I'll just click on one subtitle and then press on control A and all subtitles will be selected. I'll then change this font size to about 42 just for testing purposes. And if I press on enter, let's see what the subtitles will look like. The subtitles are a little bit better and uh, they are easily legible and all that. Now, that is the first thing you need to do. The second thing, because we want to position our subtitles, let's assume you wanted to change the position of all the subtitles to a different position like up here. So the same thing, and sure you select all subtitles, click on one and then press on control A. And the options available for us to change the position are in the align and transform section. So you can put them uh, in the position at the top left, uh, that is top center, uh, top right. And then the mid section and then the bottom section, for example, you move to the left, they go to that side, the right, the middle, uh, the top, those are the default positions or the zones that you can use. Alternatively, you can use the X and Y axis here. You can move this to this direction, this direction, whatever side that you want to move your subtitles. Now, the only thing I'd recommend when it comes to this is that ensure that you know the exact position where you want to set your subtitles to be at. So let's go back to the default. The default is this. And let's say we wanted to change all the subtitles. Let's say we want to put them up here. So once you click on that, since we already have all subtitles selected, they'll move up. And if I click on the next one, on the next one, on the next one, they're all up. Now, 
since you already have our subtitle selected let's just bring them back to the bottom position now the section where i want to show you is this particular section uh, where we have the subtitles and i'll just uh, move this slightly just move the slider here and when we look at this is you'll notice that the lower third graphic i walked you through or uh, displayed earlier is conflicting with the subtitle so for example for this section if i just move back it comes inside that particular section so the subtitles from this section what we can do we can uh, take them either you move them to the uh, this uh, using the either this uh, controls here hold the left click and move that that's the horizontal position and this is the vertical position you can move them somewhere there or you can move it up there so this particular block will be up here instead of conflicting with the lower third graphic and then when we move to the next one since it's still in conflict then click on it and move it up again so it's up there and if we uh, keep moving uh, this one also is in conflict and then move it up that way you're going to position the subtitles or change the position so that there is no conflict whatsoever with any lower third graphic at the bottom here the subtitles will be at the top or wherever you want to choose uh, using the horizontal and the vertical position settings so that is how you can actually change the subtitle position or position your subtitles in premiere pro and uh, basically remember if you want to change the position of all the subtitles remember to always select all of them because if you forget then you'll be in trouble uh, because sometimes uh, knowing what position you change this to file to this uh, may be a little bit difficult and then always remember to change the font size so that you can see clearly and also keep your subtitles uniform so i hope this video has been of value and that you're going to make positioning subtitles easily on premiere pro thanks for watching my name is david until next time stay safe and never stop learning